Okay, on today's episode of the Day in the Life of an Artist, Funk Studios Control the Cool has Jersey City's own dope abstract artist, Anthony Boone. Welcome. Hello, how you doing? All right. For those of us who may not be familiar with you, with your art, give us a little background about yourself. Uh, I started painting, um, I would say, professionally in 2005. Okay. Uh, but, you know, in regards to how I started painting, um, you know, came years before that, you know, as growing up as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my father is a contractor, so being around that form of art, and my mom is a seamstress, so being around that form of art kind of prepared me for what I do now. Because a lot of things that I do in regards to uh, my work is the same materials that my father used as a contractor. Okay. So that's how I, I kind of got started with uh, creating art. Okay. Um, as an abstract artist, what brought you into that? What made you decide that, okay, this is my calling, I'm gonna go ahead and work with this? Uh, 2005, um, I was just, I went to an art show in, in New York and um, I was just blown away by just the work that I saw mm -hmm. and um, I was just um, inspired to create and I was just doing everything. I was doing still lives, I was doing landscapes, surrealism and I lived next door to art professor mm -hmm. and uh, I would take my work over there for him to critique. You know, and he would say, you know, Anthony, you know, you really have something, but it, you know, it seemed like you were just playing it too safe. And he said, just don't worry about making, you know, it perfect, just paint. And that's kind of opened my world up to abstract and really that, you know, art really doesn't have uh, limitations. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, you know, I would paint on an easel and he was like, you don't have to paint on these. If you feel like painting on the ground, paint on the ground. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use paint, if you want to use dirt, if you want to use sand, if you want to use anything, anything is art. So that's kind of opened my, you know, my horizon as to what I can do. Because I would just paint what I saw, like, you know, you know, the Western way, I would say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of opened up my horizon as far as what I'm doing now. And looking at your work, which is pretty dope. I mean, it's way more than dope. Um, do you use a little bit of like a, a flow technique? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, I paint on the ground like Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so, you know, a lot of spilling of paint, mm -hmm. tilting of the canvas, using yeah. my hands. I don't use a paintbrush when I paint. Okay. Um, and, you know what I'm saying, just kind of a raw, you know, just in the moment, you know, going in and then, you know, letting it, walking away from the canvas and then coming back to it. And if there's a, there's a relationship I have with the paint and there's a feeling that I get that I feel when it's complete. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the way I go about it. You know, is this more spontaneous? And, you know, some artists, they are, they're starting painting before they even touch the canvas. You know, is yours more spontaneous? It's like, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and handle it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like when I, when I paint, I literally put all my paints on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what colors I'm gonna use. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna start with first um, because I use different types of chemicals, you know, wood stains, enamels, mm -hmm. you know, I'm pretty much in this media. I use pretty much everything, so. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's pretty raw in the moment. And um, I just let the emotion um, take control. I see you have a lot of art that has a lot of swirls. Into. Is that your thing? A lot of swirling and circular, almost like the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the circle is, uh, you know, happen organically. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember when I first did it, um, which was in 2009. And I was looking at this one particular painting that I created. Mm -hmm. And I just felt it wasn't complete. And, um, the circle kind of made, made it complete. Um, but as we know, the circle symbolized so many different things. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, for me, um, that is a part of my signature. You'll see the circle in a lot of my work, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, it, it means so many things, you know, the uh, recycle, you know, uh, circle of life, you know, it's so many things that the circle can symbolize. And I think everything, well, the circle resonates with a lot of different people, you know. Well, everybody actually. Because everybody can identify this. Sweet, sweet. Now, how have you developed your career and how do you seek opportunities for yourself? 
Um, I, I, I think I'm, I'm very, very ambitious. I, I think that, um, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, get my work out there. Um, so any opportunity that, that came my way, um, you know, I would just, you know, submit my work. Um, a lot of opportunities, you know, was given by people that seen my work like, yo, you know what I'm saying, you should, you know, submit your work here. Mm -hmm. And I would go and do it, you know what I'm saying? Um, now I'm being a little bit more strategic as far as what shows that I do mm -hmm. um, and really set my own brand, you know what I'm saying? So I do a lot of pop-up shops. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of how I, I start. For other artists out there, how do you find these shows? You know, where do you, you just word of mouth or just you, there's a certain place that you would go to find what's going on that you can submit your stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of it is, you know, you can go online, you know, submit, you know, a lot of work. A lot of is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, you know, now, because I've been doing this since 2005, I get emails of, you know, different opportunities where they want, you know, my work to be in certain different shows. Gotcha. So it's just, you know, just consistently putting your work out there and, and people will contact you. People will, you know, they know that you're working at good work, mm -hmm. you know, people will contact you. So just being, being ambitious, just keep putting your stuff out there. Okay. It seems that abstract now is a big trend. Mm -hmm. All right. Other than abstract, is there any other trends that you may follow that might, you might incorporate into your work? Mm -hmm. Um... I think like, you know, abstract is, and I, I, I don't want to label it as being abstract. You know, I think it's, it's just, it's just my way of expression, you know, um, and I think I'm growing at each painting that I do. Um, when I first started um, creating, it was the, you know, just the splashing of paint, the, the tilting of the canvas, and now it has evolved. You know, where you, you look at this particular painting behind you, the individual dots, um, which I just started um, doing for the last, you know, two or three years. Um, so, the, you know, that is the thing that I'm adding to what, you know, you know people consider as actual. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've seen work that folks think that all they have to do is just spit on a canvas and they got an abstract. You know, they have yeah, like dope yeah. I think, you know, you have to have some kind of creativity. You know, you see something. As an artist, you can work it. Even though it's abstract, you can work it to a masterpiece. And some folks right. don't see that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they yeah, definitely yeah. don't see that. I, I think you know, you know, beauty is an art of the mold. You know, um, so it, it's not as easy as people think it is. And I think when you see it, you can see quality than a person just splashing paint. There's something there. There's yeah. a resonation. Or, you know, you resonate with that pain. Mm -hmm. And I think with, with my work in particular, there's, I don't know, there's some sense of spirituality, um, uh, symbols, you know, very organic, very atmospheric mm -hmm. about my work that, uh, that I think identifies with a lot of people who haven't been out of space. But, you know, when you look at it, it has this organic feel to it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, for my work, I think that's what resonates with I see you have a lot of work here, and um, is there any one particular piece of art that resonates you with you the most? Um, I look at my work as, as my children. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't have one particular painting that you know uh, is more important than the other one. But I, what I will say is um, this painting here, Genesis, uh, which is my logo. Um, you just see it on my hat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so. This was literally, uh, I painted this painting in, in 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time, my graphic designer, um, when I first had my logo, it was my name and a paintbrush going through my name, mm -hmm. my last name. And um, when he came up to my house, he's like, you know, Anthony, you know, you don't use a paintbrush, so why do you have a paintbrush through your name? Mm -hmm. So, you know, his creativity, you know, and seeing all my work, he know that the circle was something that you will see in a lot of my work. Yes. And and so when I seen that, I caught chills because that's me. Mm -hmm. um, so this painting um, is called Genesis. So which is the beginning of Boom Our Life, uh, which is my, my Sweet. I noticed you mentioned uh, Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Is there any other artists that may influence you to do work, or is there anything out there that big that influence you when you when you're doing work? Um, I'm I really I, I pay attention to um, certain artists. Uh, one of the artists I, I definitely pay attention to is Bradley Theodore. I think he's a, an amazing artist. Um, I think that uh, what he's doing as far as um, um, an African American artist is. Very, it, uh, it resonates with me. I, I think like he, he's just out there. He's he's putting he's all over the country. Mm -hmm. You know, he's putting his work on Bentleys. You know, he has his own clothing line. You know what I'm saying? So here I am trying to start my clothing line, and then he's actually doing this. So to see him, you know, to be at the level where I'm trying to reach is, is somebody I really pay attention to. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, how much of your personality? goes into your work. It's probably like 100% bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very abstract. I'm, I'm very abstract. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, you know, I'm spontaneous. You know, I don't, um, I'm not structured, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, that's, that's kind of how the, you know, similarities of who I am as a person, mm -hmm. it is in my work. So. As far as the bumps in the road, you know, or you should say creative blocks, if you have any, how do you overcome that? Prayer. Okay. Um, belief in myself, belief in my work. Mm -hmm. um, getting um, people to, um, especially when you're, when, 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 you know, you, you, you know, when you're going through something, that there's always, and I had a conversation with someone the other day, is when I'm, you know, going through something, there's somebody either on social media, or, you know, somebody, I get a phone call for somebody, you know, that, you know, either did business with, with me or work for me, mm -hmm. and they would say something that would inspire me. Mm -hmm. You know, they would say something like, okay, Anthony, what are you doing? What's next? You know what I'm saying? My daughter is starting to paint now. So those That's kind right. of things, it's kind of like, you know, okay, this is something else we'll be doing. And, and it's the, you know, it's the work is bigger than me. And yeah. I, I learned that. The work is bigger than me. Sweet. Now, in your industry, well, in the art industry, uh, what is the best and worst things? Um, I think uh, the worst thing is the work not being valued. Mm. Um, I've exhibited my work in, in different um, venues. You know, people feel that, you know, if you are in their space, then they're doing you a service. Oh, yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? And it's a dual collaboration. You know, you can have a building yeah. without without the makeup, without the art. It's just a yeah. blank space. So um, just being appreciated by people that have, you know, money, you know, and, you know uh, builders, you know, that, you know, Appreciate it. And not that you should be happy you should be here. Right. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. No, I ask this all the time. All right. Famous artists, dead or alive, who would you invite to dinner and why? Oh, wow. Definitely Jackson Pollock. Um, Basquiat. Um, Kahende. you pick those and you would you like just to pick their brain and yeah yeah I, I think like with, with Jackson Pollock because we are you know we paint similar mm -hmm. because we both paint on the ground um just to just to sit under and see his technique and you know um, you know ask questions of you know why did you know he made the expression of and I understand why he made the expression because you know, somebody asked him well how do you know when the pain is complete, mm -hmm. you know, and he compared it to, you know, having sex, and you know when you, you're done when you're having sex, and that's how he compared it to the pain. So just to sit down, and I, I know that he, he's kind of, you know, a uh, very interesting uh, artist. Mm -hmm. uh, 
so yeah, I, I like to sit down with him. Jackson, I mean, um, Basquiat, um, you know, I think like he's, he's what I don't think. He's very, a very deep artist. You know, it's a lot of things that, hidden messages that he had in his work. Um, you know, and I think like to ask the question to him, you know, because I think even though he was successful, then to know where his work has become, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, how does he feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Um, that his work is you know, millions of dollars now. You know? So just the, you know, you know, and knowing that his estate is not getting the the money, you know, it's more, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Just to have that conversation. All right, but well, before we end this interview, is there anything that you would like to add, you know, to tell artists out there? Keep pushing, don't stop. You know, if you believe in yourself, believe in, you know, I don't care how people, there's no, you gotta have thick skin. You know, um, people are not gonna like your work. Mm -hmm. You know, people are gonna critique your work. But if you have a calling, this is, you know, you keep pushing work out there. And but doors will open, doors will open. Don't ever give up, don't ever give up. All right. Well, Mr. Anthony Boone, all right. Funk Studios control the cool. Is happy that you sat down with us. Appreciate much love and much much appreciation. I thank you. Likewise. Likewise. Right. Thanks for coming. No problem. Appreciate it. This is Anthony Boone, the day in the life of an artist.